Yeah. Yeah. So bring it on. The mystery list. Yeah. 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 Hello. 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 This is uh, as much as a mystery to me as it is to you. <laughs> <laughs> I heard about this place a week ago, I love it! <laughs> um, the piece I'm going to read you is a piece called John. Now, I haven't done anything on stage for over two years since before I was married and had children and it takes up your time and you just don't get the opportunities. Well, my wife's on the work do and we organised a babysitter, so I thought, why not? <laughs> <laughs> John. It's the first time I've done it, so I hope you like it. He came to me with a puzzled look upon his face. Confused, concerned, almost as if he was in a daze. He opened his mouth ready to ask me a question, but he, he hesitates. He looks around at the built-up estate and turns to me and says, What's the day today? It's Tuesday, John. Oh, is it? I'm sorry, I'm all over the place. A nod of his cat, and he turns away, puts his key in the front door, and looks at me with a blank expression on his face. And he goes inside. A few minutes pass, I take my phone out of my pocket like a cigarette, give Facebook a glance, and he comes back outside. <coughs> He looks at me with a puzzled look upon his face, confused, concerned, almost as if he was in a daze. He opens his mouth ready to ask me a question, but he hesitates. He looks around at the built-up estate before turning to me and says, What's the day today? It's Tuesday, John. Oh, is it? I'm sorry, I'm all over the place. A nod of his cap and he turns away puts his key in the front door and looks at me with a blank expression on his face and he goes inside. Now let me tell you about John. John's my next door neighbour and I should probably mention that John's got dementia. He has good days and bad days and when he's on a good day we stand and we talk for ages about how things are not the way they were in his day. He tells me stories of how during the war Oval Station was used as a hideaway. Or how he used to be a fitness instructor. He even demonstrates. He lifts his knees and on the spot runs hell for leather. It's a memory that I hope John can keep forever. But he has bad days. And as they become more frequent, I worry that his memories of star jumps and jogging will become more distant. There's nothing I can do. So I decided to try and preserve some of his memories and ink, and thanks to John, it really made me think maybe I should do mine too. So every time I pick up a pen, it's not solely to entertain you, it's a log or a diary, if you will. It's a chance to preserve the stories, the anecdotes that I want to tell. You see, I want to remember my first day at school with my Thomas the Tank Engine packed lunchbox and flask. Or the day I played the drums for Nelson Mandela and stood and watched him dance. I want to remember the day, the first time I tried to chat up a girl and get her number. Or the day I met my wife at the Guildhall School of Music and Drama. I want to remember the memory of my mum's face when she told me that I was the best mistake she ever made. <laughs> <laughs> Christ, I even want to remember the day the cancer took over and I just held her hand and prayed. You see, we've all got stories, anecdotes, that we want to preserve and save. And thanks to John, some of mine will remain through ink on a page. And as for his, John's, I'll share his memories on any mic, on any stage. Thank you. Woo